and welcome to a new YouTube tutorial regarding shaders and this time we're going to create a procedural 80s synthwave style grid shader and before starting with this tutorial I just wanted to show you the final outcome as you can see here it's more or less violet moving grid with a green that's a building in the far distance and Everyone who already tried to create something like this, at least in a procedural way, will have run into some issues, especially regarding some war effects, like the blurriness of the grid and the distance and so on. And I just want to show you the whole process here, not going too much into how to place every node of the shader graph, but give you all the reference you need to recreate this and first of all I just wanted to start to show you the result that I was working with and I already created a Unity forum post with it with all the problems and uh, I would say the approach that everyone would start with with fraction rectangle and so on and all the troubles that come with this and luckily someone at the Unity forums posted a solution for this and I was able to um, recreate this and optimize this without using textures, mitmaps, and so on. And uh, within this post, there are a few answers that will guide you in various directions. So feel free to check that out. I'll leave the link at the description box. And for everyone who's wondering how I implemented this shader, there is a game dev stack exchange flow post that is basically the same as I posted on the Unity forums, and it provided a solution a mathematical solution which I implemented here and which I will show you, especially the outcome, the whole implementation process. I will just speed up later on, but feel free to pause the video or to check out the Unity forum link or the blog page of, I hope I pronounced it right, Inigio Quiles will also provide solution for boxes, grids, filtered squares and filtered crosses. And Maybe you will try that yourself or implement that yourself. It's not that hard and you basically have just to follow the formulas here. So without further ado, let's get started.
and here is the optimized solution. This looks way better and way more suitable for game usage and so on. Do not wonder, I just added a gloom effect with the post-processing stack. So if you want to see more tutorials like this, just leave a like, comment down below. Maybe some of you have a better solution for the whole process of optimizing procedural grid shaders. And don't forget to subscribe. This really helps the channel grow. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye.